Good morning, Michael here, and today's verse for our meditation comes from Second Chronicles chapter thirty, verse twenty-seven, that reads, "Then the priests, the Levites, arose and blessed the people." And their voice was heard, and their prayer came up to the holy dwelling place, even unto heaven. The Spurgeon expounds. Prayer is a never-failing resort of the Christian, in any case, in every plight. When you cannot use your sword, you may take to the weapon of all prayer. Your powder may be damp, your bowstring may be relaxed. But the weapon of all prayer need never be out of order. The Vithian laughs at the javelin, but he trembles at prayer. Sword and spear need furbishing, but the prayer never rusts, and many think it most blunt, it cuts the best. Prayer is an open door, which none can shut. Devils may surround you on all sides, but the way upward is always open. And as long as that road is unobstructed, you will not fall into the enemy's hand. We can never be taken by blockade, escalade, mine, or storm, so long as heavenly succors can come down to us by Jacob's ladder to relieve us in the time of our necessities. Prayer is never out of season. In summer and in winter, its merchandise is precious. Prayer gains audience with heaven. In the dead of night, in the midst of business, in the heat of noonday, in the shades of evening, in every condition, whether of poverty or sickness or obscurity or slander or doubt, your covenant God will welcome your prayer and answer it from His holy place. Nor is ever, nor is prayer ever futile. True prayer is ever more true power. You may not always get what you ask, but you shall always have your real wants supplied. When God does not answer his children according to the letter, he does so according to the spirit. If thou askest for a coarse meal, wilt thou be angered because he gives thee the finest flour? If thou seekest bodily health, should thou complain if instead thereof he makes thy sickness turn to the healing of spiritual maladies? Is it not better to have the cross sanctified than removed? This evening, my soul, forget not the offer, thy petition, and thy request, for the Lord is ready to grant thee thy desires. Trust you enjoyed the meditation, utilizing that verse from Second Chronicles 30, verse 27. And recognize yet again that prayer goes up and the blessings come down. Once again, Michael here declaring, Jesus is Lord. Until next time, be blessed. <laughs>